we the people, uh, is, is really literally, not figuratively, uh, at stake. All that's made America, America. And, and you know why? You know, limited to four years, this administration will go down as an aberrant moment in American history. The threat that uh, this president poses to this nation is any like I've seen in my lifetime. And that's not an exaggeration. You know, we saw it most vividly in Charlottesville. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing. It, with this president uh, watching uh, pure racists and neo-Nazis and the Ku Klux Klan coming out of the fields with torches and chanting the anti-Semitic bile that's taken place, uh, and, uh, and then met by decent, honorable people saying, not my city, that's not who we are. And, uh, and the clash occurred, and uh, he, uh, he said, well, quote, they're very fine people on both sides. You know, when I look around this crowd, I, uh, like I said, I see a hell of a, heck of a lot of job creators. And, and by the way, and, and, and you know, I really mean it. And I see, I see my old neighborhood, for real. Folks, you know, uh, I think the moral obligation of our time is to rebuild the middle class, and when we rebuild it this time, bring everybody along. Yeah, yeah. Everybody along, regardless of their race, their gender, their ethnicity, their religion, who they love, where they live. Not a joke. It's time. Today I served alongside him, but never more than the day we passed the Affordable Care Act. Let me tell you why. Because it was a gigantic leap forward in this country. A historic progress it made, extending health insurance to 22 million Americans. Now, you all busted your neck in negotiating for yourselves decent health insurance, by and large, because you fought so hard for it and you're organized. But 22 million people out there are covered by health insurance that they never had before. And folks, I said at the time, maybe the most important thing it did, it gave people peace of mind. And then let me just stop by saying, everybody knows who Donald Trump is, okay? It's no joke. Even his supporters know who he is. It's not a joke. Everybody knows who he is and what he is. But ladies and gentlemen, it's important we let them know who we are. Who we are. Folks, I choose hope over fear. I choose unity over division. I choose, I choose truth over lies. And I choose, and I choose science over fiction. So folks, it's time we pick up our heads. Remember who in Lord's name we are. This is the United States of America. There's not a thing we can not do. Nothing. So let's go, man. Get up. Time to get up. Let's take it back. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you.